Um, please give us a warm welcome to uh, the Alan Lomax of uh, filmmaking at the Fishing Room. So if like to film the music on stage with like showing how, where are the musicians, where is the audience, you know, showing exact lies too many details. Like and so if, if you don't try to if you try to just represent what happened, basically you're just gonna frustrate the viewer because we are gonna be here. Yeah, I wish I was there. <laughs> so I made this little thing with Earth from LA and in fact I'm really happy about it in the end. And I think the band is really really happy about it also. And they really told me it's like it really um, it, uh, gives really a good feeling of what it is to, to see half on stage. Um, have you ever seen them? Anybody of you know half? Have you seen them? How is that? It's crazy. It's just like... It's sort of a actually here. Oh, you really think so? Oh my yeah. gosh, that would be amazing. Really? Half? Not her. Half. Her, but yeah, the age no. or half? Yeah, they just play Anyway. Uh, Hopefully, I don't know, woke up at... I woke up at 7, I had the worst nightmare last night. Crazy. <laughs> like, you know that kind of nightmare? That when you wake up, you laugh. You're like, oh my god, <laughs> that was a nightmare. Yeah! No, that was, that was, like, that, was like, that kind of nightmare. That was crazy. You know? And by the way, if you don't understand me when I talk, tell me I have a pretty thick accent. And, uh, and, uh, and when I get excited, and it always goes like, hey, hey, if you don't understand me. <laughs> So we're gonna take the we'll take the subway to the place of the piano. All right, fine. I don't know. That way we can just go. And I think this this thing is good, you know. This thing is good because a lot of people watch yeah, see it. Yeah, exactly. So it's like if it was just some bullshit, okay. then. No, no, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it and we'll do it good. Ah, that was a good night. Um, yeah, it's sort of like yeah, sort of like um. Taking the pretext of making a film to basically just like create a situation and, and gather people together. I think basically I arrive in town and like, you know, hey, I get a camera, let's do something. And, and so, yeah, changing the music, changing how they play it. And I think it's a nice pretext. Mary's house in the hollow of the white hazel rapid world. <laughs> Church of the well, I was doing photos at the time, mm -hmm. and I, I almost like started, stopped making photos maybe for uh, six months, and then I went to uh, to this uh, cinema, art cinema in Paris, the Forum des Images, and uh, and I didn't know what I, what, I, what I would see, and there was a f series of short films, and then came up out of space, and. Um, Outer space is 10 minutes long, mm -hmm. and, uh, and when I was, yeah, when I saw that, I mean, I remember that I, I went back home, like, I was just changed, I was, oh my god, I've never seen anything like that before, and uh, yeah, yeah, as soon as I went back home, I, I, I ordered all uh, Peter Chakaski's films, and I, and I decided to make moving images, on, I guess, on that night, mm -hmm. it was, um, I, I, I never had the, the courage to, um, to switch from still images to moving images. Mm -hmm. I think after seeing out space, that gave me like the, the energy to, to try it. Mm -hmm. And I think it's always been there. And, and outer space, like, uh, is a, is a, that the black and white aesthetic in outer space is really close to the aesthetic I was, I was working around when I was doing photos, mm -hmm. which is not really uh, the aesthetic then that I sort of like worked when I was making films until I, uh, but uh, apart, Apart from my live uh, films, where mm -hmm. basically I, where the, I film music on stage, mm -hmm. and the REM's film, and, uh, and the Mogwai's film, and, uh, and there's another show piece like Earth.
Yeah, that's um, what I was going to say. Sort of like a very, very in, um, under, uh, under that influence again in sort of like, sort of like as, as an homage almost to, mm -hmm. you know, to a Wittorf space and to Tchaikovsky's work. So yeah, uh, that, that was really, really a very, very important thing for me. And it was just like that. That's just fantastic. <laughs> well, fantastic in a way. Um, that was just uh, for me, I guess, my first experience being in a cinema mm -hmm. and just like getting the feeling, the same feeling, the same energy, we seeing mm -hmm. the same yeah. kind of energy then that I had when I go to see a live show. And I always really, really, the, I guess, first time for me that I had this experience. Mm -hmm. Basically trying to portray this incredible man who's a who's a, not only a musician, who's a poet, a philosopher, a drunkard, a, a, a painter, a, a gambler. He, he's known mm -hmm. mostly in Japan, not because of his music, because mm -hmm. he, he gambles on bike races on TV, and he's mm -hmm. like, and this uh, it, is very, uh, very, very intense, intense character. Mm -hmm. Basically, he say that you know he doesn't. His albums are, are, are piece of shit to him, but uh, he hopes it's a nice piece of shit. That's what, that's what he says. You know, it's not really the point. The point is just like to uh, just to enjoy every moment and to uh, basically to, to be as generous as possible with everybody. Hey! How are you? Excellent, how are you? I'm good, if you're late. Ah, it's okay. No hurries, no worries. Thank you. 